I'm Brent, you're watching Zeem Culture. You know, I think this is a big piece of equipment, and it is. But we've done some episodes on this show on some even bigger pieces of equipment. One, the Union Pacific Big Boy Steam Locomotive. Largest steam locomotive ever, 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 ever made. Now, you know, the Titanic was a large cruise ship, the biggest of its day, but now it's dwarfed by modern day cruise ships. Not so with the Union Pacific Big Boy. It was and still is the largest steam locomotive ever made. They've been basically in museums for about 60 years, but through a long-term restoration, they've just put one back on the tracks. And I wanna share that with you today. But first, we shot an episode a few years ago that documents the Union Pacific Big Boy. Stay tuned after this one I'm gonna show you from a few years ago. We're gonna show you some video of that train rolling out. It is very cool, stay tuned. So enter the Union Pacific Big Boy. They built 25 of these things. It's the world's largest steam locomotive. These were truly monsters. So Union Pacific engineers looked at their existing Challenger locomotive, which is the biggest they had at the time, and realized they really needed to bump it up. What they ended up was 132 foot long and 1.2 million pound locomotive called the Big Boy. Here's a few interesting facts that you need to know. The locomotive ran on a 4884 platform. That meant there were four non-powered wheels in the front, two sets of eight in the middle, and four non-powered wheels in the back. Now, all those wheels were necessary to provide enough traction force to allow the train to pull its massive load without literally just sitting there and spinning its wheels. The train carried 25,000 gallons of water, 56,000 pounds of coal when fully loaded, and it burned 28 tons every three to four hours when it was under max power. The firebox was 155 square feet with 967 tubes to create 59, 59 excuse me, 100 square feet of heating surface. So the boiler operated at 300 pounds of pressure and generated roughly 6,000 horsepower. All right, now you've seen the video and you understand a little bit about this massive locomotive, I'm excited to show you this video. For the first time in 60 years, under steam, going on a trip, the Union Pacific Big Boy. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed that. That's pretty impressive to me, a unique piece of rail history here in the United States of America. So you can go Google the 4140 restoration. Before you do that, wapow, Google us, because we have content for you each and every week. Be pushing something out for you. We'll be fighting for your steam culture viewing pleasure. Ha, just made that up. See you next week.